Hello everyone, Duox here, and today I'm going to show you how to use SSH from a Linux server to a Windows desktop. This is the first part of a three-part series. Next video, we'll show you how to use SSH tunneling on Windows. In the last video, we'll show you how to use ShadowSox tunneling for your Android device. The first step will to be to access the Arch Linux machine. This video is assuming you already have Arch Linux installed. You will need a mouse and keyboard for the initial setup. To install OpenSSH, we need to type in the shell sudo for root, pacman for the package manager, dash capital S for install, OpenSSH. This will begin the installation process. I already have this software installed, so I do not need to install it again. Once done, type in sudo nano slash ec forward slash etc slash ssh slash sshd underscore config. Set the port to one you want to use. The default of 22 is okay to use. The next step will be to type in ip space addr. From here, we need to find our MAC address and write it down. The final step on the Arch Linux server is to start the ssh service and en enable it on boot. Type in sudo space systemctl space start space sshd. This will start the SSH servers for us for this instance. However, we need to have the SSH service run on startup as well. To enable on startup, type in the same command, but change start to enable. Next, we are done with the Arch Linux server, and we are going to move on to the router. My router is at 192.168.0.1. Once logged in, on the left hand side, I'm going to click on DHCP, then reserved IP address, address reservation. Under MAC address, I will put in my MAC address from my server. Under IP, I will type in the IP address that I want for my server. Click save, then you will be prompted to restart your router. When your router has restarted, go to forwarding on the left side, click add new, then under service port type in the port number that we previously used for SSH. Then type in under IP address, the IP address that you have assigned to your Arch Linux server. After saving, it is a good idea to go obtain a dynamic DNS service. One such service is noip.com. This lets they let you assign a host name that is easily rememberable. Once you create an account and create a host name, you can download a desktop client that will set your dynamic IP address from your cable company to a host name that is easily rememberable. Once that's all done, go to Ninite.com to download the Ninite installer for PuTTY. Ninite will let you install PuTTY very easily. Once PuTTY is installed, open it up and you will have three different little boxes you will be typing into. First under hostname, type in your username under Arch Linux. Then type in the at sign, then type in the URL of your, your domain. Once you've typed that in, go to port and type in the number that we have used previously. Under sessions, type in the name you want to remember this connection by and hit save. Congratulations, all you need to do now is connect to the server. To connect to the server, hit open. Wait for the connection to go through and accept any messages that appear. If all goes well, you will be at the shell of Linux, just like you were typing in on the keyboard. In the next video, we're going to go into how to use SSH tunneling for routing traffic past firewalls. Thank you guys for watching. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in the next video.